This is the setup for the day. Watch an amazing race. This little guy is a week old almost. He'll be a week old tonight. Which means I'm a week postpartum. So perfect opportunity to give you guys an update on how it's been going. I'm going to start with talking about how I'm feeling and then I will get into the must-haves <clears throat> for recovery that have really saved me this time. As of today, I'm doing pretty good. Much different than last time. Last time I wish I would have vlogged more when Cole was little, but recovery was so rough with Cole. Like, I, it physically wasn't possible for me. I was really miserable. I was really swollen, very painful, because there were a lot, a lot, a lot of stitches. I could like barely walk right. I couldn't sit right. I almost had to sit on like a little donut pillow. So it was just really bad. So this recovery has been, it feels like a breeze compared to the last. I still had to get stitches because he was an almost 10 pound baby but I didn't have to get as many. And I feel like that has helped a lot with recovery, not having so many stitches. I'm not nearly as swollen. I actually can walk and sit and sleep comfortably at night. As for breastfeeding and pumping, today, well really yesterday sometime, I just got to where I'm making enough milk for him to go longer stretches. I've been making enough milk for him all along I just have been feeding him more often if he needed to be fed more often, which is exhausting because sometimes I was pumping every hour and a half, which when you're pumping for 30 minutes, it seems like as soon as you get done, it's ready to go again. But I've just been doing it based on when he eats, I pump, which has been going pretty well. Eventually I want to get on like a schedule and get him on a schedule, but that's not for another week or so. So my milk is fully in. Wasn't as painful as last time. Other things like physically, I I don't know. Let me know if this happened to anybody else. But I have had a lot of pain in my lower back. Especially when I go to lay down at night. It takes a long time for the pain to go away. Enough for me to be able to go to sleep. But I'm not exaggerating. No matter how which way I lay on my stomach, on my back, on my side whatever my lower back it just feels like it needs to pop and I can't seem to get it to pop and I don't know why it feels like that it's just my lower back and if I lay there for like 20 or so minutes and don't move um eventually I'll fall asleep and when I wake up it doesn't hurt but it it does hurt initially when I lay down and I'm not really sure what to do about that so that's really the only thing that's been bothering me a lot as far as postpartum recovery. Of course, I'm exhausted because life with a newborn is exhausting. But as far as recovering from actual birth, it has not been as bad as it was last time. Here's it. I know everybody wants to see him. He is sleeping so good right now. He was really fussy this afternoon. And I'm wondering if he has like a little bit of a dairy intolerance and that's what's making him super gassy i'm also wondering if he has reflux because i've noticed he hates sleeping in his bassinet first of all which is a whole nother a whole nother thing we can go into another time but every time he lays down flat he spits up and he cries a lot so i'm thinking he might have a little bit of reflux so we're gonna prop up the bassinet a little bit so it's a little bit of an incline for him and see if that helps tonight because him not sleeping at night and just crying out a lot is not very fun. I'm going to move him to a more secure place and then I want to show you guys what I've been using postpartum to kind of help with the discomfort and pain to be a little more manageable. There is one item that I'm out of of course, and I don't really need them anymore, so I'm not gonna buy any more, but I'll put a picture of them up here. I prefer the adult diapers, the disc always discreet, or I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, over the mesh underwear they give you in the hospital. I don't feel very secure with the mesh 
underwear. I prefer those. I just feel like they're a little more underwear like because the mesh is meant to stretch and it stretches and gets looser over time. The adult diapers do not. So I don't have those, but I have everything else that I've been using. I've upgraded to real underwear and pads. I really like these always discreet, always infinity ones, the really thin ones. I don't like thick pads, so I wear those. Dermaplast spray is a must. It really helps with the pain to numb it for a little while. It doesn't last super long, but it's super helpful. And then I have this Perry bottle to rinse off with. And then I haven't brought any more downstairs, so I'm gonna run upstairs and show you the last product that has been a lifesaver. Last thing is these Tux medicated cooling pads. They are super helpful with making things feel a little more comfortable um, because I'm not a big fan of the big ice packs they give you. I don't think they're very comfortable. So the Tux medicated pads kind of do the same thing without having the ice. This is what we're working with seven days postpartum. It has shrunk down a lot in comparison to what it was. I'll put a picture up here of what it was the day that I was induced. And we're down to this. I feel like from yesterday to today, I really shrunk down a lot. That's what it's looking like. It's still a lot of extra skin and stuff in there and it's still really squishy, which is a, a really weird feeling, but I can wear normal pants now. So that's a plus. I'm wearing some pants that I haven't worn literally since like October because I have huge babies. So I show really fast and my bumps get really huge. That's recovery. I use the same things with recovery last time. They've been super helpful this time, especially the first few days. The first few days are always the roughest. Last time with Cole, it really took me like a good week and a half, two weeks to like feel like I could function normally. This time at a week, I feel mostly normal. Like our pastor came and visited us yesterday with his wife and I told them I was really hoping to get back to church on Sunday as long as I'm feeling as good as I feel right now. And with Cole, that was not a thought in my brain. Still not 100%. Like I still don't feel comfortable like driving anywhere they didn't put any restrictions on me or anything but it still is a little painful so i don't want to get in the car and like be driving if i don't have to <laughs> but i'm thinking by monday i'll feel better really the only thing that's been awful this time is the back pain and it might be from the epidural because i'm that's about the right spot that he um that i could feel like a pinch in when he was doing the epidural and I know there are people who have like some lingering pain from an epidural. I mean, at this point it is what it is. So I'm just, I'm just assuming that eventually it's gonna go away because um, that makes me feel better <laughs> about it. <laughs> I think that's it postpartum. This time I really don't have a lot to update you on. Um, I don't go overboard with postpartum stuff. I just stick to the basics, so. Isn't he so singing cute? He always gets this arm out of the his little wrap. Because if you watched the last video, you would have known he has to be swaddled all the time because he broke his little collarbone. So, like, this arm has to stay at, like, a right angle all the time so it can heal. And then he always wiggles this one out, <laughs> which is so cute. Now I'm going to go take a nap because I'm exhausted, obviously. And you got to sleep when you can get sleep when you're, when you're a mom and you're tired and you're newborn is sleeping and if you're like me i just pumped i don't have to pump for a while he doesn't have to eat for a while we're gonna take a nap good news all the way around this morning first update i told you guys yesterday that will was not a fan of the bassinet he slept in the bassinet last night so perfect he only woke up when he was hungry and i don't want to jinx it but i don't I don't think I will. I just think he's finally feeling comfortable with the amount of milk he's getting. We've kind of finally figured that out. And we propped the bassinet up. I think the combination of those two things made it where he was more comfortable. Thank goodness. Second update. We had Will's one week checkup today and he is doing great. First off, he 
is back up to 10 pounds. When he was born, he was nine pounds, 15 ounces, and he dropped down to nine pounds, six ounces, something like that maybe. I don't remember exactly, but it was something like that. Nine pounds, six ounces, nine pounds, four ounces, something like that. And the goal is by the time they're two weeks old for them to be back up to birth weight. Well, he's a week old today and he's already back up to 10 pounds. So he's exceeded his weight, which is great. That means he's getting plenty of good nutrition and calories and all that stuff from his milk. Third and final thing, they checked up on his little collarbone and he was cleared to not be swaddled 24 seven anymore. And he can move it like normal. He was moving it in the appointment and she said that was a really good sign that he was moving it a lot. Like his range of motion is still good. Yeah, he is doing great. The doctor said he is perfect. So I'm just so glad. Honestly, the best thing is that he slept good last night because I needed to sleep in the bed. I was tired of sleeping in this chair and like kind of half sleeping because I was holding him. And I just really wanted to lay down in my own bed because I just, who just been in the hospital. I was so excited to not be pregnant anymore and be able to sleep in my own bed. So it's, it felt so good to get back in my bed. That full night, well not full night because you know, you get up with the baby in the middle of the night a few times. But the quality of sleep I got last night has made me so much better. That is contradictory. But I promise I feel more rested than I did yesterday. So hopefully that trend continues and we can keep sleeping good at night. Because I'm not going to lie, for a little while there, I was getting a little run down. Getting very emotional, which I'm sure is all the hormones from afterbirth and stuff but nor I'm normally like that anyways if I don't get good sleep I can get a little either very sad and like cry a little bit or very mad so I'm glad that that is much better and hopefully the train continues that is it for this update um the next video coming out will be my birth story so that's gonna be really fun and then I have a few more fun ones planned after that. I'm really excited to be back and to feel like filming again because for so long there then in pregnancy, I did not feel like it because I was so run down and so tired because I was not sleeping good then either. I'm actually getting more sleep now than I was when I was pregnant. I feel like myself again, which I'll touch on in a future video, I'm sure. And I'm getting back in the groove of things. We're learning life with two kids instead of one. So I'm back and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.